Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a Knob Creek on the cask. Knob Creek is a brand of the Beam Sunturi company and it's a sub brand of Beam. So all the stuff from the Knob Creek brand is made at a Jim Beam plant or Jim Beam distillery. Knob Creek, Creek, American word for small river usually f flowing through a little valley or through a wood or something like that and the creek knob creek is a small creek near the jim beam distillery that this whiskey is named after or this brand is named after it's one of the small batch brands or small batch whiskies from the jim beam distillery so they take the the best barrels this here is kind of their entry Knob Creek, so this would be the the good barrels, and uh, fill them, bottle them in small batches, and yeah. So Knob Creek has an an entry level price for premium whiskey. It's not like one of these uh, yeah supermarket whiskies. In America, you don't get whiskey at the supermarket, but the uh, the cheap whiskies, but it's more of a, yeah, you have to go to a special liquor store to get a Knob Creek. Um, but this here is the the entry level at one of these special stores. Yeah, so um, it starts off with 50% ABV, which is 100 proof. So yeah, it's a, it's a strong whiskey and uh, the, the shape of the bottle is totally... Uh, yeah, cubicle and it has this wax on top to have the whiskey really good sealed plus plastic cork so there's no can be no contamination in, inside the whiskey from the cork mm, whoop. and be careful when you open it, it it splinters everywhere so you don't get anything in your glass or something like that so let's have have a look how uh, yeah, more more sophisticated Jim Beam tastes. Oh, now with the second sip, um, sipping this second time because I did a German take before. It's a bit more sweeter than the first one. The first one was really, really with the oak and pine wood, and it's it has a nuttiness and it's really kind of spicy, herby. So it's. It's not a whiskey for a, a beginner who likes a smooth whiskey or a not intense whiskey, or a sweet a sweet bourbon. So it's it really drifts a bit away from the the usual bourbon style. It's it's still a bourbon, right? It's Kentucky straight bourbon, yeah. So it has more than fifty one percent corn, but probably it has some some rye in it as well to, to make it this uh, incredible spicy and intense whiskey. Yeah, if if I'd have this in a in a blind tasting, I would probably say oh, one of these milder rye whiskies. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Pretty intense. Mm. It's intense with a lot of oak, a lot of spiciness, a lot of that rye flavor, mm. pine wood. Mm. Now, now that you get mm, close to the finish, the, the pine wood dies off. The oakiness dies off a bit. Nah, mm. becomes milder. The oak becomes milder, and you're left with a bit of a, a sweetness. Yeah, the finish is more like a, a bourbon, but the the first sip and uh, after the swallow, you do have the a really intense whiskey. Also, the the alcohol is is pretty pretty tough, so I wouldn't I would recommend to add a few drops of water if if you're into more of a, a milder style of whiskey. So yeah, it's an entry level price definitely, but it's not something i would recommend to a a brand new rookie if you have a friend who's like into 
gin or something like that definitely recommend that because you do have a lot of these spicy and intense flavors that are um, maybe a bit similar to gin mm. 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 I would recommend it as a entry level sipping whiskey it's around I don't know how much it costs in the States, but it should be around 30 bucks or something like that. And yeah, you don't drink that many glasses of, of Knob Creek uh, small batch in one evening. Plus, it's the small batches. So be careful what I say here. Um, it, it can vary between batch to batch. So you never know if the batch is totally the same. All the, um, and the other thing is, you get a bit surprised when you when you buy the small batches because you can get something that tastes totally different and then well, you have something new in your house. Yeah, but I like it. It's a entry level priced premium sipping whiskey. Very spicy, very intense. I can recommend it definitely. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.